Yo, 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 what's good, man? My name is Kyra Montero, man. CEO and president of Frequency Canvas LLC, man. It's great to be here with y'all today, man. And here today, I got a great story for y'all, man. You know, this this music industry is is it's like the wild, wild west. Y'all must thought I was here to talk about being a master engineer, we say master engineer of the year. Kyra Monta. Nah, I ain't here to talk about that. Even though that, that was a great thing. We ain't here to talk about that, boy. You know? Hey. This music industry is wild, man. This, this last past summer of 2024, we experienced, in my opinion, excuse me for the coffee, I love coffee. We experienced one of the greatest um, and probably most notarized hip hop battle between two superstar artists that we've ever seen between Kendrick Lamar and Drake uh, going at each other, which I mean, I mean, we all know who won that battle. We, I mean, Kendrick, Kendrick got the upper hand by far out of that situation, but I'm not here to, here to talk hip hop politics. This battle reminded me of one, of a great moment in my career uh, back in 2017, top of 2018. And I want to talk to y'all about it. What if I told y'all that I mastered a major label album from a legendary Christian hip hop group that featured an artist that has been featured by artists like Drake and Beyonce, and even mentioned by Kendrick Lamar in this hip hop battle that we just seen between him and Drake. Crazy, right? Let me tell y'all a story. Back in 2017, uh, shout out to my guy Jacob Biz Moores. Me, me, uh, I'm building with Biz. Uh, there were some some people that was on my bucket list from the Christian hip hop market that I wanted to work with. And their, you know, Reach Records and like the Craze record label, um, that that was a bucket list. And there were some others <coughs> that I hadn't worked with. I was working with a ton of independent artists, killing it, doing amazing work, but I needed to elevate the resume in that space even more at the highest level, at the highest, highest level, you know, and, and I was able to do that. Um, and so there's this legendary Christian hip hop group named Social Club Misfits, right? And at the time they were signed to Capital CMG, which is the Christian division of Capital Records. And I remember I was working a job in this small factory slash warehouse that I hated at the time. And I remember getting a text from Biz, you know, so my phone, at, whatever phone I got at the time goes off, boom. Get a text and he says, what did you think about the Indie Tribe record that we did? Because prior to, about a month or two before this, he sent me an Indie Tribe record called High Horse, and I mastered that. And I was like, yo, like I told you, like it was dope. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a dope record. Cool. Get another text from Biz. Biz is like, you wanna take a stab at mastering this Social Club album? I'm like, <laughs> so, long story short, he sends over three, rec four records. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I lied to that job and said that I had a family emergency. I left. I thought I was putting in my two week notification, resignation, say I quit. I left y'all, I ain't gonna lie, Lord forgive me. I left that joint. But that album ended up turning up to be something called Into the Night. One of their biggest albums to this date it features names like Jordan Sparks, Teron Wells. Y'all should really go look it up. They had War Cry on this album. Really, really charted Billboard. Um, got, I think, some some nominations. I think even Kevin Hart like pre-ordered this album. It was, it was, it was, it was like a big look back then. See that? Master by Kyra Montero on Biz. Yeah, y'all see that. So. Anyways, 
So when this Drake and Kendrick battle happens this summer in 2024, I'm like, yo, this is crazy because Social Club featured this guy named Bean. B-E-A-M, Bean, right? And on their lead single with that album called Dive. They did a music video to it and everything. Go look it up, go do your homework. And what's crazy is Kendrick Lamar took shots at Beam on a song called Euphoria. So Beam is an artist himself and he's also a songwriter for Drake. Drake has a record label in, in camp called OVO. Uh, but Beam was also featured on Beyonce's last album, uh, Renaissance, the Renaissance, whatever it's called, on a song called Energy. And I remember being in the car with my wife and she played the album. And I remember Energy coming on I'm like, Beam, I'm like, that's the dude that was on the, the Social Club Misfit album that I mastered, you know, back that came out back in 2018. And so then to see all of the news stories and everything going on with Kendrick and Drake and Kendrick taking shots at this dude on Euphoria, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. The music is a wild, wild west because here I am, I don't know none of these people personally but I actually mastered a Billboard charting album where the lead single features this guy named Bean, who is featured on Beyonce's album uh, a few years later, who is doing work with Drake, which some people argue is the biggest artist of all time. I'll let you have it, not gonna get into that. But it's also big enough, even though it was a diss, to be mentioned by Kendrick Lamar. So here you have Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Beyonce. Three of the biggest names in music history of any genre. You have Social Club Misfits, who is one of the biggest names ever to come out of the Christian hip hop market. And then you have Capital CMG, which is attached to Capital Records. And then you have little old me, Kyra Montero here at Frequency Canvas, award winning master engineer and I've been able to work on a record. Obviously, and that record features Jordan Sparks. Like I said, it was mainly mixed by Biz. We co-mastered it together. Jacob Biz Morris over at Get Mitch and Reach Records. A lot of big names. And I'm not saying these names to flesh. I'm just saying, I come from a small city where the entertainment industry does not exist. I mean, we got former NBA legend, Zach Randolph. He does have a record label called Endless. Um, Endless Entertainment, Endless Records. I think Endless Entertainment is the name of the record label. And Moneybag Yo is his artist. So technically, that does affiliate some some like legendary history. We got the legendary MC Supernatural from our city, but I'm from Indiana, cornfields, middle of nowhere in the Midwest. So to think, to have this Kendrick and Drake beef remind me of like some great moments I love creating this content. Uh, it's part of the legacy, man. So I just told this story just to say, man, you got to be prepared for the moment and you never know what opportunity will show up on your desk, will show up at your front door. And you have to seize the moment. You got to oversee. You got to be ready to take over, man. Kyra Montero, Frequency Canvas. I'm signing out, man. Y'all know what it is. If you need professional uh, audio mastering services, welcome to the canvas, man. You want to come highlight us, man. All right, man. Blessings to y'all. Be dope.